friends, it's Marsha and it is time for the word. If you are ready for the word this morning, say, I'm ready. I don't know about you guys, but I love theme parks. There's all sorts of yummy foods, big prizes, rides and roller coasters at theme parks. And I've been on more than just a few kinds of rides in my time. In fact, I grew up very close to this theme park up here in Auckland called Rainbow Zen. So I went all the time. I actually think there was one year I went four times in a year. It was insane. There's so many rides that go fast, slow, spin you run around or take you upside down till you vomit. But I love it. But there was this one ride at Rainbow Zen that I did not want to go on. And it is called the Stratosphere. Now, if you know the stratosphere, you know that there are two types of rides. There's the less extreme, which is where it doesn't go upside down. It just goes side to side. It's pretty fun. Then there's the extreme ride. It goes up and down all around the place and it spins you around at the same time. That one, I did not want to go on. I loved the less extreme stratosphere. And I went with my friends one time and they all were trying to get me to go on the extreme version, but I did not want to do it. I don't like rides that take you upside down and you stay upside down, but they somehow convinced me to get on it at the end of the day. So I went on, I didn't know what to expect, so I buckled in and it started off pretty calm, pretty smooth. And then suddenly the speed started to pick up. You started going upside down and spinning around and going back down really, really fast. I did not like it. I've never been so glad for a safety harness in my life before. I was so scared the way that it span you around and you stayed upside down for like 30 seconds looking at the ground. I have never been more thankful for those safety harnesses. I was safe because I was in the roller coaster harnesses. Did you know that we are safe in God's hands? Because God has got us at every moment of every day, through the good and through the bad, we can choose to confidently stand strong in Him and His power. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 12 tells us this. Finally, be strong in the Lord and His mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. What this tells us is that God has given us His armour to stand strong against the enemy. It means that with His help, we have already won against anything that the enemy might try to throw at us to, be just, to bring us down or to discourage us. We have the belt of truth to remind us of what is right, and to speak the truth. We have the breastplate of righteousness to protect our hearts and keep our lives, help our lives to shine God's light. We have the boots of peace to help us stand on solid ground. We have the shield of faith to help us to stand strong in our faith in Jesus. And we have the helmet of salvation to protect our minds and to put us on God's team. And we have the sword of the Spirit to win against the devil's schemes with the Word of God. All of these things are here to help us stand strong and to trust in God when we are in the midst of a scary and tough situation. Standing strong, standing firm in God is important because in John chapter 10, verse 10, tells us that the thief only comes to steal, kill and destroy, which means that we need to be prepared. But get this, God knows so that God knew, so He had a plan. If we take a look at the whole of John chapter 10, verse 10, it tells us this. The thief comes only to steal, kill and destroy. But I have come so that we may have life and have it to the full. This is good news. Why? Because it tells us that because of Jesus, because we are on God's team, we are already prepared for the fight. We are already prepared for the match. Our job is simply to stand firm in our faith and to stand firm and trusting Him through it all. 
isn't it just amazing that our God is so big and so strong that He can save us at any time, in any moment? In life, the reality is we are going to go through times where it feels like there is a battle too strong for us to fight. A battle going on around us, like there are things happening that we can't control. We might be at school and something happens with our friends where we don't know what to do. But we can always stand strong in our God because He is always there to help us when we need it. Can I tell you a secret? When I was younger, I used to be terrified of the dark, especially at night when I went to bed. My dad always used to tell me before I went to sleep that I didn't need to be scared because Jesus is always there with me. Jesus is bigger and he is greater than whatever could be hiding in the dark. And it made me think, I wonder why I was so scared of the dark. And I think it was because I didn't fully understand how big and how powerful our God was. I didn't understand that he really was and still is right there with me. In fact, every night, my dad would put a chair next to my bed and say, this is the seat where Jesus watches you sleep. He is with you and he's with me in every moment of our day. I don't think I could understand that to stand strong in him, all I needed to do was to turn to him and to ask him for help. No matter what comes our way, no matter what we may face in life, we can always know and be sure that our God is so strong that I am safe. Today, my message is short, but the idea is simple. And I wanted to tell you about my game plan and that it is to trust God and how yours can be too. Can you repeat that after me? My game plan is to trust God. So good. We can do what Ephesians chapter 6 encourage us to do and to stand strong in God so that when an attack from the opposing team comes our way, we don't have to worry at all. We won't be swayed to the left or to the right because we are strong and firm in God. We are already equipped for the game. I want to pray for those of you today who feel like they are stuck in fear or in anxiety or like you are in the midst of a battle that you just can't seem to fight and overcome on your own. If that's you, why don't you raise your hands to heaven right now and let's leave here choosing to stand firm in His goodness and His strength. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank You for all the children who have, who have their hands up. And I pray that they would be filled with a supernatural peace that transcends all natural understanding. And right now I speak to the fear and the anxiety that they have been experiencing. And I say, leave in the name of Jesus. And I speak your goodness and your faithfulness and life over them. I speak your joy over them. And I declare a strength in the Lord and an ease to their situations, knowing that you, God, are right there with them, that you are stronger and you are greater than everything else. Lord, I pray for a reassurance and a security in them that they can turn to you in the good times and the bad knowing that you will always be there for us. And Lord, I pray for all the young people in the room that they would choose from this day forward to say no to fear and anxiety and anger and instead stand strong in who you are. Sovereign Lord over all and mighty God, we love you and we thank you that you love us. I pray you bless these young people as they go. In Jesus' name, amen. See you guys next time.